So this week, we're going to talk about building trade lines. So a business credit report is very similar to a personal credit report in the sense that it contains information about how the business handles its financial obligations. Um, but it's a little different. And the big difference is that unlike personal credit, where you get a credit card, a car loan, a mortgage, whatever it is, the lender automatically reports to all three of the consumer credit bureaus. That's almost a given. Uh, with business credit, it's much more, mm, it's less consistent. So you'll see uh, a lender or a vendor that might report to, say, Dun & Bradstreet and one that doesn't, or one that reports to Experian and Equifax, but not to DMV. Uh, so you really have to make sure that you're doing business with companies that will report your payment history. Because to get a good business credit rating, you need accounts that report. And I have over the years, you know, talked to businesses that have been around for 10, 15 years and still didn't have much in the way of business credit references because they weren't really doing business with companies that report. So I want to give you three simple things that you can consider to build those business credit references. And then of course, you want to make sure that you pay on time. Uh, we'll talk about that in a second. So the first one is vendors that report. And we're making this super simple for you. We have a list of vendors that are very easy to get. They don't check your personal credit. They don't report to personal credit, but they do report to business credit. Now, each of them has their own little requirements. Some of them might start you out with a low credit limit and increase it over time. There's a couple that if your business is new, they might make you purchase a few things um, and then go on a credit basis. But it's usually a net 30 basis, which means you have 30 days to pay the bill. And if you pay it on time, then you build a positive reference on your credit report. So vendor accounts can be a great way to get started with accounts that report to your business credit. So we'll include a link below to an article that lists easy net 30 accounts, easy vendor accounts that you can get, again, without a personal credit check. The second option to consider is a business credit card. And almost all of the major small business credit cards do report to at least one of the major uh, commercial credit reporting agencies, Dun & Bradstreet, Equifax, or Experian. And I will include a link below, an article that I wrote that includes which bureaus each of the major business credit cards report to. So you can take a look at that and see if you can get a business credit card that reports. If you are looking for a business credit card right now, I will tell you that it is harder to qualify. Um, they've pulled back quite a bit, but we're continuing at NAB. If you have a NAB account, we're going to continue to match you to, um, to credit cards and other types of financing that uh, with lenders that are looking for customers you know, similar to your profile so you can reduce the, um, hopefully reduce the chances that you won't get the, the card or the financing that you want and narrow your search. So that's part of a NAV account, whether you use a free or paid NAV account, and it's called Match Factor, and you'll see a section in there where you can look for credit cards and get more information. So that's another way to build uh, references that report. And another tip I'll give you is that some of these credit cards don't report to the owner's personal credit unless you default. So that could be an advantage too. If your business sometimes has to carry high balances, maybe seasonally or you know, due to what's going on right now in the economy, if you don't, as long as you don't not pay the account, it won't show up on personal credit and that can help protect your personal credit and also separate your business and personal credit. So it's kind of nice to keep those two completely separate. So the right small business credit card can help you do that. And then the third option is a paid NAV account. So many NAV customers use our free account, and we're happy to have you do that, and that's truly free. And even with a free account, you can monitor your business credit and personal credit for free with updates every month. So log in every month, and you can see new updated information. You get access to our marketplace to shop for financing and many other tools, including Business Launcher, which is designed to help you understand the steps for building business credit. But we also offer paid accounts. The paid accounts offer additional benefits, and one of the popular benefits, uh, for example, of our Business Boost account, is that we report that monthly payment to the three major commercial credit reporting agencies. So we report it to Dun & Bradstreet, Equifax, and Experian. And it's never negative. If you decide you don't want an account with us anymore, it's not going to show a late payment. You just stop, you know, you just downgrade to a free account, and we'll still 
that information that's on there will still remain on there. But each month that you pay that on, uh, pay that NAV account, the, the Business Boost account, you are building a business credit reference that can help you build business credit. So with those simple steps, you've got vendor accounts, small business credit cards, and a uh, potentially a paid NAV account, you've got a good basis there for starting to build business credit. And what we've seen at NAV is that business owners who are proactive and even just take those steps often see good results quite quickly because if you think about it, the average business owner hasn't even checked their business credit, much less tried to build their business credit. So you do these few simple steps and you're kind of ahead of the game there. So that's something you may want to consider.